around Michigan and Ohio, yeah. you pick up a football when you're young. You decide then either to be a Buckeye or a Wolverine. And as your spring turns to autumn, those loyalties don't change. You're still a Buckeye or a Wolverine. You mark the years by Ohio State playing Michigan. In Ann Arbor, Tom Brady is the man of the year. Three times this season, he's led Michigan from behind in the fourth quarter, including last week at Penn State. In Columbus, this is a season to forget. Mistakes. Frustration. Anger. Time is running out. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger. Woody Hayes used to stand inside this Ohio State locker room in Ann Arbor and compare coming to Michigan in November with great military battles. Woody might call today Ohio State's Alamo. They're O for the decade at Michigan. And if they can't find a way to win this game, they're not going to go to any bowl game. Michigan, on the other hand, is ready to storm the walls. If they win today, they go to either the Orange or the Fiesta Bowls. That's a $12 million payday. It's rivalry Saturday in college football. Expect the unexpected. Excellent field position again for the Buckeyes. Wisniewski stems over to the right side of the line, and Rambo comes in motion through the formation. Play fake on the roll, and Belisari nifty on his feet, eludes Hall, and makes his way for a first down. A sensational run by Steve Belisari. Hauser. An H-back look, and they'll run Wiley behind the power, and they've got the corner. Wiley breaks free, gets past June, and he is down inside the 10-yard line at the 6, and the Buckeyes with a first and goal. And let's see if they do that with Belisari right now. Throw, caught, but touchdown, Ohio State, on a great second effort by Kevin Hauser, who broke free from... Cato June, but the penalty flag down. The only thing I can think of is that they... Oh, they celebrated oh excessively. Gosh. What a shame. What a pity <laughs> that they liked that touchdown. Yeah, that's... That they went ahead of Michigan and Ann Arbor. I think it's a stupid penalty. You got a big underdog comes in, puts a touchdown on. They've been put down all week. They come up with a score, of course they're going to be happy. They're in Ann Arbor, they're in the big house, they haven't won here in the 90s. And now Stoltz. And it's Moot. Extra point is good, it's 7-0, so the Buckeyes strike first. I think it was LaCharles Bentley that got the call. Wiley set it up with that long sweep to the outside, and then Kevin Hauser stuck it in the end zone. Timeout. John is telling Rambo, let's not be going in reverse on that punt either, young man. Let's see what Michigan does with its break. Brady on a nice play fake. Drops it off to Sean Thompson. And Thompson out of bounds at the 37. Michael Doss, the defender. Thomas, middle. And a huge hole opened up. The second leading rusher on this Michigan team is a wideout, David Terrell. Second down, and here he comes again. Thomas cuts it back for first down. Driven out of bounds, and now Thomas is starting to put the A train into a higher gear. Brady, Thomas, and he is stopped by Doss at the 40-yard line, picking up another five yards on first down. Jopru at the H-back spot. Thomas slides through inside the 40-yard line. It'll be third and short. Middle linebacker Jason Ott with the stop for the Buckeyes. Third down and three. Michigan elects to put it up. Dropped, and now it is fourth down. Johnson had a gimme in his hands and dropped a sure first down for the Wolverines. It's a drive killer. The 69 Michigan team. Bo Schimbeckler upsets Woody Hayes in one of the memorable 
Michigan Ohio State games. Woody looked at him and said that's the greatest job of coaching you have ever done at a <laughs> banquet because you beat my best team. Second down for Ohio State. Got in trouble. Slips a tackle. Now slips another one. And the Magic Man dances free again for the Buckeyes. Steve Bellasari is like a grease pig in the early going. So it is now third down and one. Keller and Wiley. It'll be Wiley hitting the backfield and then stuffed in the early going. It was Josh Williams who penetrated and got him first and blew the play up. Stokes back to punt. Diallo Johnson, the return man. Diallo would like to make up for that dropped pass a short time ago. He wants to throw it like last week. Hit and they violated the halo, and that is a penalty. No question that they came in on a 44-yard punt. Percy King in yeah. too close. See, Remember, now, there are two yards in the college game. See, I'd give him 15 on that one. When you get up and celebrate that one, that's one where the discretion of the, of the officials could give him a 15-yard penalty. This isn't a guy just jumping out of the way in the halo. This is a guy that took a shot at a punt returner who's very vulnerable. That's why they have the rule. It's a very dangerous situation. There is no penalty. Man is pushed into the line. First down. Yeah. I need a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the phone, I can't hear you, boy. Regis, I need a lifeline. <laughs> I can't hear you, my friend. <laughs> there he comes. Right There's here, blocked from behind is what they're calling the play. He's definitely within two yards. And on that note, we'll take a break. It's Ohio State and Michigan, folks. <laughs> Brady, Terrell, his first reception, first down, Michigan. What a nice story, John. Wearing his dad's number down in Miami, 34. Here's number 32 for a first down. Pretty good running back right there in Anthony Thomas. What's your feeling about the A train? How would you say? Almost sounds like a Midwestern. Almost. Brady is back. Going to set the screen beautifully. Oh, what a running room for Thomas. Oh, they're all out in front of him and inside the 15-yard line. Niall Diggs saved a touchdown on that play. He was blocked and he had four blockers, Anthony Thomas did. The screen pass has been so good to Michigan. Coming out of the end zone right here, and you can see Brady invites the blitz, makes the throw, and look at the convoy that Thompson has, or Anthony Thomas has right here. I thought he was gonna go all the way on that play, but Niall Diggs does a nice job of coming from behind and making the play. Walter Cross now gives him a break after the 32-yard gain on the screen pass. Brady to Thomas. Brady. Terrell, 10-yard line, dances, and then slips at the 6-yard line. Upset with that slip at the 6 as he was making another cut. Second down is when you like to do it. Maybe Shea out in the flat. It's Thomas for the end zone. Got it. Touchdown. Michigan's an extra point away now from tying Ohio State in the first half. It was a screen pass against Puggage's defense. Called upstairs by Carr's coaching staff that meant the difference in that drive. It has been the play call of the game. It was so beautifully set up by Brady. And then Thomas across the goal line. We're deadlocked at seven. I'm out. Kind of baits the defender to come up and then goes long. Second down and 10, and Belisari and a keeper all the way, and Michigan certainly not fooled on that play. They had it cut off every which way, and the stop made by Josh Williams. This is third down and 13. Belisari, Wiley though, blocks. 
and Kovic got it. First down, Buckeyes. Just short of the 25-yard line. It was not a perfectly thrown ball, but Provit making a strong catch and a gain of 18 for John Cooper. Both play in the drive. They've also got the big horse, Martin. He's going to throw. Got it. Touchdown, Martin. Slips out of the backfield. Belisari's second touchdown pass of the game. Jamar Martin, 6'1", 245 pounds, brought it down the field and then scored the touchdown on this reception. Buckeyes lead it again. Timeout. So the half comes to an end, and for the Ohio State Buckeyes, it was a very positive first half. To qualify for a bowl game, they must win. They lead it 14-7, but remember the comeback kid. His name is Brady. A lot of football still ahead. Let's go to New York. John Saunders and Terry Bowden.